Social cognitive theory was developed by Albert Bandura in 1977. His theory disagreed with a previous theory called behaviorism, which argued that behavior was purely determined by our environment. Bandura's social cognitive theory saw people as thinking beings who were an integral part of information processing. The single biggest difference between social cognitive theory and behaviorism was that people had agency, the ability to choose and to influence their reactions to events. Two of the most important factors making up Bandura's theory are reciprocal determinism and modeling. Reciprocal determinism is the theory that three factors, personal factors, the environment, and behavior, mutually influence each other to create situations we observe. Personal factors are all of the things that make you, you. They include the way you think, your previous experience, your feelings, and biological processes. The environment is all of the things and people in your surroundings. They are the things you interact with and that respond to you. Behaviors are your actions and words, the things you do or say that have consequences, either good or bad. A good example of reciprocal determinism can be seen here. Johnny has come home after a bad day of school. He failed the test and is really mad. This is a personal factor in the situation we are observing. Johnny chooses, poorly, to release some of his anger on his mom's iPhone. His behavior, brought about by the personal factor of his emotions, has created an effect within his environment, a behavior. However, the environment also responds to and influences Johnny. His hand now hurts and his mom grounds him. Johnny feels guilty for acting this way and is in some discomfort from his bruised hand. In the future, this hopefully long-term change in personal factors will aid him in making better choices when he is angry. Modeling. Modeling is the process by which we learn from observing, what we often refer to as monkey see, monkey do. Observation helps us to shortcut having to try every single possibility by watching and remembering behaviors and tactics that work well. The most famous experiment of modeling is Bandura's Bobo doll experiment. Three groups of children either observe an adult playing aggressively with a Bobo doll, an adult playing passively with other toys, or are left to play on their own. Children are then made mildly angry in the next room. The researcher lets the children play with the peeling toys and then takes them away, saying that they are their best toys and are reserved for other children. In a final room with familiar toys, the child's behavior is observed from behind one-way glass. Researchers found that children who had previously witnessed an adult playing aggressively with the Bobo doll tended to be more likely to display the same sorts of aggressive behaviors. Reciprocal determinism and modeling can provide teachers with powerful tools for structuring learning environments. By understanding the interrelated factors that affect students, we can respond appropriately in challenging situations. By using modeling, we can reflect on how our own conduct sets the tone for our classrooms. Created using Powtoon.